put that there and that and that that's doing something is that'll work <sighs> come on hey i'm battling apple back again with another tutorial with three tnt cannons for all occasions so you can be a tnt master that may have been you back there who got exploded trying to figure out how they work they're kind of complicated but with this tutorial it'll teach you everything you need to know and give you three great designs that are simple and easy to build so let's get started Woo! down we're back oh uh, let's look at our first design here it's right on this way here we go and over here this one's called the scatter gun this is going to be for those big explosive things you're going to need to do let's just press the button right here and it'll demonstrate boom since tnt everywhere look at the damage see this is your bazooka this is when it's time to bring out the big guns you're going to want to build this baby so where should we build it we should build it facing an army of course let's get started so to build this baby you're gonna want to start with your dispensers you can take out dispensers you're gonna need four of them you're gonna place one there boom boom you're gonna place two right here boom boom so you got four right now and then under here just place some stone make it look nice at least just like that see how that and you got your dispensers on either side okay you're now gonna block this back in and you're gonna place a block right there and a block right there and now you're gonna take your bars. You're gonna find iron bars. There it is. Put those iron bars in your inventory. And you're gonna place two right here and right there. Now you're gonna to wanna to get your water, water bucket to be exact. And you're gonna place it right behind, right there, just like that. So whatever TNT you're gonna set is gonna go right there and shimmy on down there. And get stuck in this iron bar okay so now we hook up a oak button make sure it's wood there's a big difference this is where many people go wrong sometimes they use stone make sure this one's wood you're gonna place it just like that all around just like that so now we got this so this part's done but what about this part the part that you're actually firing so this is where things get interesting so you're gonna come up three blocks then you're gonna get your observer you place it right there and right there. We don't need this now. That was just a get up there. But if you want, you can just do that. You can keep that if you want. Okay. Now you're gonna place these two there. These are temporary blocks. Now you're gonna take your observer. And you're gonna face it into that. Now you're gonna take this observer. And you're gonna face it into that. Now you're gonna avoid those stairs that go into your soul. And you're gonna place one right there. So you got two facing into those two drop dispensers two dispensers and then you got this one pointing out okay you can go ahead and destroy those two and you're gonna come up with the sticky piston a sticky sticky piston and you're gonna put that right there so you're gonna take that that you're gonna shoot me on like that and you're gonna put your sticky piston right there make sure it's facing the side and now you're gonna point it just like that my bad did it wrong we're going up now so you're gonna place it like that see like that just one block off the ground you're gonna place it like that and now you're gonna take your red star repeater and you're gonna make this outline right here so you're gonna have this register repeater come out this way it's gonna come out this way then just go one two three yeah make sure it's facing the right way yeah and you're gonna get, come out just like that don't need these two there now you're gonna take your redstone dust you're gonna place two right there and do right there and put these all on full blast you want them on full delay and now all you have to do to complete this wonderful cannon 
Please get some TNT in your hands. So we're gonna go like that. Not like that. You're gonna get your water. And you're gonna place your water right there again. And then you're gonna right click the dispenser. Oh, come on. Can't even right click it. There we go. Come on. Oh, I'm on shift. What the heck? Make sure you're not on shift. Now you're gonna stick some TNT in there. And you're gonna stick some TNT in there. You're gonna stick some TNT in there. You're gonna stick some TNT in there. And then you're gonna stick some TNT in here. And finally, right up there. And all you have to do now is hit the button. Make sure you got this all wired though, right? So now, watch the magic happen. You're gonna right into the army. I can't wait to see this. Watch this, guys. And boom! Scatter gun. Oh, the damage is massive. Let's give it another shot. Okay, okay, I made one mistake. Hmm, make sure your gun looks like this now. Don't want to block there. You want these two iron guards like that. Now you're gonna press the button and fire away. Ooh! Oh! There you have it, folks. Look at that. You just conquered a pillager outpost with your new TNT cannon. Moving right along to the next cannon. Where is it? There it is. The beauty. This guy's a little bugger. But this is the simplest design. And best. So we're coming down. See how tight this guy is? He fits inside a 4x3 area. So you just give him a go. Fire him away. And... Kaplamo! Look at it go! Right over there! Look how the... This guy's range is insane. Okay, so... Where should we build this? Where on earth should we build this? Far better to build a pirate cannon than on a pirate island. So let's get started with this TNT cannon. This one's even simpler. So we're going to get started down here. You're going to place four dispensers, just like before. Oh, not that way. You want like that? You want to go just like that? And you want to go ooh, a little too far, just like that. And now you're going to come up in the back. You're going to place right there and right there. And then you're gonna put that dispenser. And you're gonna place it right there. And then you're gonna get rid of that guy. And that guy. Get rid of the whole stupid grass. And you're gonna come up here. And you're gonna place that. And that. You're gonna place red to dust there. Shift. Dead. Dead. Shift. Dead. 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 Just like that. And you're gonna place the block right there. And now you're gonna take your button. And you're gonna stick it right on the back. Just like that. And now you're gonna take your torch. And you're gonna stick it right there. No. You're gonna take that right there. Then you're gonna take your redstone repeater. Stick it on fall. And now you're gonna take your dispenser and you're gonna face it that way. Now you're gonna shift. Whoa, shift. Whoa, shift. And then you go, whoa, shift. There we go. That shift. There we go. Finally. That took like 15 tries. Okay, you're gonna come down and you're gonna take a trap door. Could be any trap door, as long as it's down, make sure you don't click on it while you're doing this. And you're gonna take that, and that, and you're gonna take it, and you're gonna put your water. Before you put the water though, place the trap door, and then you're gonna put the water in the back, just like that. So you got two blocks, and you got five, six observers, one of them being that TNT, and you got four, five actually on the bottom, going that way. And now, all you have to do is fill this baby up with TNT and all the dispensers, and then you're ready to fire. Now, all you have to do is find a suitable target for your new pirate gun, such as these guys over here. And we're going to press the fire button. After you've filled it with TNT, just press the wooden button. Make sure it's a wooden button. And watch these guys explode into smithereens. Ooh, oh, man, we completely missed. Come on. Fire! What is wrong? Fire! There we go! Okay, okay. I messed up. Again. Oh, and if you want to make it more accurate, just add these guys on the side. Make sure to add them on the top a little bit too, or else the TNT will explode the cannon. Now we can give it another go, and this time it'll hit the villagers. I mean the Royal Navy. 
Come on, we gotta take him out. Run right over his head. Whatever. On to the next game. And this next one is not to be reckoned with. This is the TNT Sniper. After a heavy design of 15 years, this was produced out of the finest factories of Apple Incorporated. As you can see, it's got a nice, sleek design and is fast to shoot. It's got a manual for safety reasons, though, so you have to manually load it. So just place your TNT in these slots, not in the back, that's where the water is, but everywhere in front of that. And then you can aim it. If you want it to shoot that way, you place TNT there. Or if you want it to hit that way, you place DT there. But for demonstration sake, you place that there, so it'll shoot that way. Now watch this. We can place TNT right up there. That's going to be fired, and then you hit the button right there. And watch this baby go. It's amazing. There it goes! Off into Neverland! Yes, I messed up again. <laughs> there, trapdoor should fix that. It's really interesting what the TNT lands on that you're going to fire and how it affects. But this should this should do the trick. It should go into oblivion. Here we go. Should fire that way. Watch this baby work. Woo! Now that worked way better. Okay, so use a trapdoor instead. <laughs> to demonstrate the sniping capabilities, we'll be showing you how we can build it here and it'll aim over there. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to want to build. Here we go. So you want to come this way. And you want to make sure there's five. One, two, three, four, five. There. Perfect. And you got that. Right, right there. Just like that. And now you're going to come back here and put that right there. So if you place your water here, you can place five. Whoa, that's only four. So make sure you can do it like this. And then right in front of that, you're going to want to place your trap door. Just like that. And now you're going to come across with your slabs. No, not slabs. Blocks. You're going to place it like that. And you're going to place your blocks here too. And you can place your blocks. And that's about it. So you place slabs now here. Make sure you do slabs. There we go. And block right there. And block right there. And. Ladies and gents. You're halfway there. So now it's time to get wet. So we're going to get our water bucket. And you're going to place some water. Just like that. Just like that. And let me if I can reach it right there. Okay, so now you got this T. This is why it's called a T cannon. So you can aim it. Place TNT there. And yeah, yeah, you got it. Okay, you're smart. We're going to put our button right back here. Oh, no, no, not there. Right there. Just like that. That's better. Much better. Okay, and then we're going to place this, just like so. Whoa, sheepy, get out of the way. We don't want to launch you. Whoa, let's go back down. And we're going there. There, there. There, there. There, 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 and there. No, not there. And there. There we go. Okay. Now you're going to come across with your repeater. You go one, two, three, and then you're going to place block there. Then you're going to come across to the side. You're going to place dust there. 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 And now you're going to cross this way. You're going to place round two. And then you're going to place your repeater. And you're going to put it right there. And right there. And now you're going to get your normal piston. And you're going to get a redstone block. We're going to get that redstone block right there. And grab it. And put it on. Okay. So now we're going to place our piston. Just like so. And now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wrong move. We're going to place our piston right there. Make sure this is facing into the piston. We're going to place the block under there. Then we're going to place the block on the sides of the piston. Just like that. Doom, 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 doom. Make sure you got a redstone block right there. So you're going to put your TNT here. And when it activates, it's going to push the TNT block forward and activating it with the redstone block. So it's going to fall right on top of that trap door right there and get fired. Okay. Now this is the last step. All you need to do is... Put these guys on their full tick, so make sure they're on four ticks, each of them. And, dude, that's literally it. Let's get this guy firing. So, all you do is take your TNT, and remember these three steps.
So, the farther you want it to go, you just add more TNT back here. Just like so. So you're going to add 5 there, and since we want to aim sideways, we're going to add like that to there. And since we don't really want to go this far, we're going to go like that. Now, if you do do less, make sure you put less in the front, not less in the back. Okay, and now when you just want to fire, whoa, this is very important. You're going to put your fire TNT right there. That's what you're going to fire. And now you're going to press the button. Now, watch this go. No, press that. Yeah, press that just like that. Just like that. Where did it go? Ah! Excuse me, audience, I've made a dastardly mistake. Here, I can show you how to fix that right away, though. So all you do is you're going to take your trapdoor, that guy right there, and you're going to place it right there, and quickly replace it so the water doesn't get on. And right there, and quickly replace it. Oh, make sure it's down. And there. Now, it'll fire. So just take your TNT, and like before, fill it up, however you want. But we're facing, we want to, we want to take out that outpost once and for all. So you're going to place it like that. And now you're going to fire. And now watch the aiming work. It's going to shoot sideways. Just watch. See? Whoa, where'd it go? Look at it there. Right there. That's where it exploded. Now, that is your aimable T-gun. So basically, if you wanted to shoot that way, you're going to place TNT on this side. And if you wanted to shoot this way, you're going to place TNT on that side. And the farther you want it to go, the more TNT you place in the middle. And whatever you're going to fire, you're going to place one TNT there. And that's what you're going to fire. Hey, everybody. That concludes our video for today. Thank you for watching. This has been a blast. I don't know, but for me, this has been really fun. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm Battling Apple 04 And now you know how to make your favorite TNT cannons. Oh, geez, it's getting dark in here. should really place some. Uh-oh.